In the previous video, we have just discovered that one of Euclid's other theorems, which says that the angle at the center is always double the angle at the circumference. So have a look at this angle O, well this, where this question mark is, and then we have this angle B, which is 30 degrees. Now, that 30 degrees, which two letters formed that angle? What I mean by that is, if we had to start at B and work our way backwards along those two red lines, we would end up at A, and then we would also end up at C. So we can say that A and C formed B. Now, A and C, do they also form the angle at the center? Well, let's have a look. If you go along this line from A, and if you go along this line from C, then yes, you do get to the same point. And so there is definitely going to be a relationship between angle O at the center and angle B. So we'll say that angle we'll say that angle O is going to be equal to 60 degrees. Why? Because the angle at the center is always equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference. And then lastly, we said that this only works, this theorem only works if those two angles are on the same side of the or are in the same segment. So if we connect A and C, and we have a look, well, everything to this side of the dotted line is one segment, and everything to this side is another segment. Now, angle O and angle B are on the same segment, so they're on the same side of the dotted line, and so we can use this theorem over here.